In 1938, an expedition was conducted, led by Dr. Kai Pute, an archaeologist with the Chinese Academy of Sciences in Beijing, into the Bay and Carola Mountains of China, looking for evidence of ancient civilizations. He was trying to find shelter in the Kunlung Ket mountain chain, when a team member entered a cave and found strange inscriptions on the walls. At the back of the cave they found several tombs, aligned in a row, containing strange-looking skeletons, each measuring 1 meter 20 centimeters in length and having an abnormally large skull. Buried with the skeletons, over 700 stone discs were discovered. Not knowing what they were, the team collected the stone discs up and took them back for study. The discs are around 1 foot in diameter, with two spiral grooves moving out from a center hole. They ended up in storage for over 20 years, before Tsu Munwi found out about the discs, and was given the permission to study them further. This is when something amazing is discovered to be contained on the stone discs, an amazing story which would cost Tsu his reputation, and ultimately his life. The Chinese Academy of Sciences tried to ban the publication of these findings, but eventually the story of the Dropper tribe and their stone discs was released. What he discovered were tiny hieroglyphs etched into the grooves upon the discs, the hieroglyphs tell an amazing story. By 1962, Tsum had successfully deciphered the writings, stating that they told the story of a spaceship crashing on the mountains some 12,000 years ago, the ship contained the Dropper people, who were unable to fix the craft. Stranded on Earth with no hope of returning home, this story tells of their short lives here, they explain how most are killed by the local human population, in the end the last remaining members die in the cave. Russian researchers requested the discs for study, and allegedly several were shipped to Moscow. Once there, it is said that they were scraped for loose particles and put through a chemical analysis which revealed that they contained large amounts of cobalt and other metallic substances. As recorded in the Soviet magazine Sputnik, Dr. Vyacheslav Seyazev describes an experiment where the discs were supposedly placed on a special turntable, whereby they were shown to vibrate or hum in an unusual rhythm, as though an electric charge is passing through them. However, fast forward to present day and no evidence survives of the discs, nor Tsum himself, nor the ridicule he received which cost him his life. It appears as though the discs have been skillfully transformed into an apparent hoax. Bay and Carola remains one of China's most remote regions, its mountains reach as high as 5,000 meters, a new expedition is being prepared to this remote place, largely funded by Chinese media companies, I will keep you posted on what they discover.